This is horrific because you had people who were displaced fleeing the violence from Boko Haram in this camp and then many of them turning up dead now. That's right, Amara. I mean, basically, the general who's in command of the area in Bono State in northeast Nigeria told us that uh, they received reports that Boko Haram gathering it was in the a local area called Kala in, uh, in Rand State, and they found the coordinates and, and struck. But, of, of course, they, as you say, they, they struck uh, an innocent uh, group of people. There are 25,000 people displaced in that area. And uh, the, 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 the fire force from their jets uh, killed, as you say, 52 people and injured any more. We're getting reports that there may be many more dead than that. And it's a, it's a, it's a tragedy of enormous proportions. What do we know about the 52 uh, people who were killed? Or actually, what do you know about the people who were injured? Where are they being treated? At the moment, half an hour ago, I spoke to the Red Cross on the ground. The people that are injured are basically the fallout from this war between the Nigerian government and the Boko Haram insurgent. It's been going on for seven years. It's killed more than 15,000 people. It displaced two million people. And the people that have been killed and are injured are stuck in an area where the government is the rock and Boko Haram is the hard place. They're caught in the middle. They have not been able to farm or to plant their their, their crops for the last three years. They're going hiding in Sambisa Forest on the border with Cameroon, and basically they are the victims of a war that's been trying to eradicate the Boko Haram terrorists. And of course, our listeners will remember these are the people that were responsible for kidnapping uh, 200 people from Chibok a few years ago in 2014 in April. And the government feels it's winning, but at the same time, they call this a regrettable mistake because in their fight to get rid of Boko Haram, they're catching these desperate people bang in the middle.